about a month ago, I cut this piece off of a burl that I was turning. I turned a burl bowl and I used a reciprocating saw to cut this off. And it's fairly thin. I've had people ask me what I'm going to do with it. So I decided it's not going to be much, but I'm going to turn this, see what I come up with. I started by taking the rod out of my center finder that I used for my chucks and I put it in my xylus vise here, standing up, and found basically the center of this. Then I used that center finder to put this chuck on with uh, hot glue. I did not want to drill a wordworm screw, obviously, because it's too thin. So this should work fine. So I can true this up, and we'll see what we come up with. Let's go over and take a look at this on the lathe. Using these large calipers across here, I found that this is at the very most one and five eighths of an inch thick. So I'm not gonna be making anything terribly deep. Not quite sure what I'm gonna be making, but I'm gonna be starting here by turning this at 1000 RPM. I'm gonna use my three eighths inch bowl gouge, create a flat spot here. I'm hoping to be able to put a recess in and use the expansion mode of my chuck. So let's start here. All right, I think that's probably big enough to Put a recess in and I'm going to use the easy method today I'm just going to use a two inch Forstner bit turning at 250 rpm all right that should be plenty now I can start shaping this a little bit. I do not want to make this round. It's gonna lose a lot of the character. I wanna leave some of the bark on here if possible. Let's see what I can come up with. While I still have the Jacobs chuck in my tailstock, I'm gonna drill a recess for my logo coin. I'm sure at least some of this bark, <laughs> probably most of it, is not going to hang around for the ride. That piece for sure, almost. I don't believe I'm going to be able to keep some of this bark from falling off here, but I'm going to give it a try. So I'm going to put some thick CA glue down in behind here and clamp it. See if it will hang in there.
I'm using thick CA glue because I don't want it to run all over the place. I'm hoping it'll stay there. I wonder if I can get some up in behind this area too. I'm going to take these clamps off now. See how this worked out. The bottle says 10 to 25 seconds. I've left it for about three minutes. You see where I didn't get it in close enough to the surface on here, to the top of the bark. I'm going to do a little bit more here. See what I can do. All right, it looks like glue is holding fairly decently. I'm sure a lot of this bark is not going to survive the ride, especially this big chunk up here. But there's just one way to find out what is and what is not going to survive. 1000 RPM again, 3 8 inch bowl go. Gonna see if I can just shear cut this now. Some punky wood in here. It's gonna take some real fine cutting to take that off and I'm going to have to try that a little bit more. I'm going to raise the speed to 2000 RPM. I might have bark flying all over the place now. Well, that is a little better. I'm just going to try sanding this now. I'm going to have the lathe at 500 RPM. I'm using two inch sanding disc here. I'm going to increase the speed to a thousand on the lathe. Seems to be too much air time. That is cleaning it up all right. That's with 100 grit sandpaper. Do a little bit more off camera here. All right, I sanded it to 400 grit. I really like the looks of these bug trails all over here. I've got my logo coin in, use pyrography to sign it 
identify the species, put the date on. I almost put 2019 in there. I usually take about, I don't know, maybe 11 months to come around to the right year. <laughs> so now, I like to see bark after it's soaked with oil. I think it always makes it pop nice. So I'm going to leave the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to reverse it now into the chuck, do the top, and then decide what finish to put on the top. So I will be back after this is reversed. All right, it's reversed now. You might remember it's a pretty shallow recess and there's also not much wood around it for strength. So it's not in there real tight. Now I brought the live sander up in the tailstock with a cone just to hold this faceplate on there while I turn that glue away using my spindle gouge at 1000 RPM. There we go. All right, I can just turn this off of here. And I'll be ready to start working on the top of this thing. Using these calipers, check the thickness. like I have got about just an inch and a sixteenth from the top of the bowl to the bottom of this and that's a sixteenth of an inch thick which means I've got about one inch so I don't want to go down further than about three quarters possibly seven eighths of an inch so time to get this back on here and get some turning done Well, I need to take a little more off here, but in doing it on this end, that's making this end really, really thin. So I guess we'll have to go with the no guts, no glory attitude. Now, did we lose bark here? Not too bad, actually. All right, I think we'll just go from here in now. This would be such a bad time to find out that my gouge is not sharp enough. I think I'll just use the diamond card and hone it. Now, how many times have you heard someone say, I'm gonna take just one more real fine cut and have it blow up on them? But I do need one more real fine cut right here. That's about as good as I'm gonna do.
And that's pretty thin all the way along here, but I think right about here I'll be able to start taking the bowl. As I start to remove this mass, it will remove some of the support that's coming out here. So I want to try shear cutting this right now, very gently, see if I can get rid of some of this chip out. Oh yes, that's that's better. Definitely taking some of that away. I'm going to boost this up to 2,000 RPM, just because of the little bit of air time that I'm doing. Oh yes, cleaned it up nicely. All right, now time to start thinking about the bowl. All right, now there's gonna to be too much air time to sand this with a drill or anything while it's moving. So I'm gonna just hand sand this area. I'll do that off the camera for the most part and then I'll be back. There is some real pretty figure in here. I think with a finish on there, it's going to pop, it's going to look great. This is sanded to 400 grit now, this is as far as I'm going to go. Now it's time to start coming in from here, take out the bowl. 1000 RPM, 3 8 inch bowl gouge. Some fairly rough cutting in here. It's a little punky. It's not as solid as I would like. But I'm going to raise the speed to 2000. I've rehoned my gouge. See if I can get a cleaner cut there. Oh yeah, that's much nicer. Not perfect, but very nice. Still a little bit of tear out in here, so I'm going to try doing a little shear cutting, not shear scraping. Scraping is when you bring that edge over flat. Cutting is when you change the angle, bring it up a little bit. I'm going to see if I can do some shear cutting on there and get rid of that.
Yes, there's certainly an improvement there. Do just a little bit more and then I'm going to sand this. All right, I think it's time to sand. I'll be back after I sand this. Well, I'm pleased with how this turned out. It's a very shallow bowl, but then you can't do a three inch deep bowl on a one and a half inch piece of wood. So this is about what I had to deal with. Now I really like some of the bug trails that are in here, the bug holes on the backside, a lot of bug holes on the top of it. It's a few bug trails there. And I'm glad that for the most part, the bark hung in there. Now, since I did the burl that this came off of with this Howard Feed and Wax, I think I'll do the same thing with this one. I quite like the way it turned out. So I'm gonna finish this and then I'll put a photograph at the end, show you what it looks like. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll come back next time. Between now and then, have a great day in your shop and be safe, please. If you enjoyed this, you want to share it with your friends, I'd appreciate it if you do that. And if you haven't subscribed before, consider doing that. It would help my channel out. And I want to thank all of those who have subscribed. So again, have a great day in your shop and be safe. And I hope you will come back next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye now.